All right, guys. So this is the last drill video, the last video of your basics. And you won't believe it, but at the end of this video, you are, you know, almost all of Photoshop's basics. Yes, we've skipped over some tools. We've skipped over some menu selections. We've skipped over some color corrections, but the best part about this tool is that everything that you have ever seen on a digital screen or on print, you can now recreate with just what you know, almost everything, right? Almost 95% of all the work that's ever out there, you can create using the tools that on the basics that you have learned so far. And that's the wonderful thing about tools like Photoshop. You can actually replicate anything. You don't need to know the advanced tools. You, it might take you a little longer to do it using the basics, but the point is, you know how to create almost everything. And that's a very powerful feeling to have. In this video, we're going to go over the last technique that I need to teach you, which is layer masking, All right? So here we go. Okay. So we have this document here and the idea behind layer masking is when you make a selection and you cut out of the selection, sometimes you might want to go back and cut a little more or cut a little less, but once you selected something and you've selected inverse and you've deleted it and you've kept only a small section, then you can't go back and change that again. So we use the idea of layer masks to make sure that we keep the entire selection while only showing a certain amount. So here's how you use layer masks, right? I'm just going to go to, I'm just going to open or place rather our man, right? So we have a man here and you know, we're going to, we're just going to keep the man in the center of the image. Now what I want to do is I want to put a mask on this man's face. So I'm just going to go to file, place embedded and click on mask. I'm going to place this, right? We have a mask here. I'm just going to press the enter key. Now the idea with a layer mask, and this has nothing to do with this mask, this mask on the screen. The idea with a layer mask is that you can cut out some bits and then keep the bits outside of the vision still on, still in information. So you, you still have the information. You're not doing anything destructive, right? The idea with layer masks is that you are not doing anything destructively. You are still keeping the pieces that you're cutting out or not showing. So if I make a layer mask and I paint it black, it means you cannot see through. But if I make a layer mask and I paint it white, it means you can completely see through. And if I make it gray, it's somewhere in between. It's about half opacity. So watch this to make a layer mask. All you need to do is first make a selection. So let's, let's select this mask, right? Let's, let's use this tool, make a bad selection, not a very good selection. Okay. So we made this and uh, let's subtract from the selection. We don't need the eyes. So we click on subtract from selection and we will remove the eyes. I'm going to subtract again. Let's remove the eyes. Maybe let's remove this hole with the mouth. Okay. Now if I press the delete key, you can see that I've actually deleted the mask. So that's not going to work. I need to right click and select inverse and then delete. Right. And the problem with this is we've lost all that extra information. If we ever wanted to edit this mask, we'd have a problem. So I'm going to undo. Right. I'm going to undo this control Z. I press control Z twice. I have the mask. I I'm going to not select the inverse. I'm just going to select only this bit and I'm just going to head over here and click this button, which is the add a layer mask button. And as you can see, just like magic, we have a mask. So in a layer mask, all the bits that are black are see through. You can see right through them and you see this link button. It means this is not on the layer. It's this additional information that's attached to the layer. So everything that's in black, you can see through everything in white is completely op opaque. So you cannot see through it. And anything in gray is half opaque. It's, it's, it's transparent, right? It's kind of transparent. So the darker it is, uh, the more see through the brighter it is, the whiter it is, uh, the less see through. And that's the layer mask. And you can paint on the layer mask, but we're not going to do that. And you can edit either the layer itself or the layer mask itself. And here's the beautiful part, right? So if I click on the move tool and I click on the layer itself, I can move the actual layer. I can rotate it, for example, right? And as you can see, that's shaping up, right? 
And if I ever want to change how the selection itself is or how much of the layer is visible, I can actually just, instead of doing this, just click this link here, right? I'm just gonna unlink the two. I'm gonna unlink this from its layer mask. And now I can move this inside the layer itself, right? Without destroying anything. So if I wanna make this a little bit bigger, I can do that, right? So that it fits the layer mask. Right? And if I wanted to edit the layer mask itself, I'm gonna click this, I can actually move this too. So you can move each of the things separately. It's a, it's a funny concept. It's something that will take you a little bit of time to get used to. And then when you're done, just click the link again. So you're able to move both together, right? Both the mask as well as the actual mask, this the face mask together, right? So this is the cool part about layer masks. Um, it gives you a lot of flexibility in the way you are able to keep your selections longer. We've done selections, we've done select inverse and delete, but layer mask is the right way to do select inverse and delete and just and still keep your original information. So this is the beautiful part about using layer masks. And with that, we are done with the basics of this course. You know, uh, you know, if this was a musical instrument, I would say that you know almost every key, you know some of the progressions and the next five episodes, we are gonna learn one technique each from each major style of design or each major school of design. And we're gonna use a lot of the basic techniques that we've already learned and you'll see them combined together and you'll understand for once, for the first time in your life maybe for some of you, that design is a lot easier than you think it is and putting things together is extremely, extremely fun. And as you go through the next five episodes, I hope you guys have a lot of fun. And I always want you to remember, even while you're going through this course, at this point, if you've kept with me so far, you can create 90 to 95% of everything, every design that's ever been created by humanity, right? You have the tools to do it. And, you know, adding some more tools, adding some more techniques is only going to make you faster at doing things, right? So, uh, good on you for getting so far, you know, pat on the back. It's, I know it's been hard. I know you're probably exhausted, but now let's get the good part and let's create five really good pieces. Right? So catch you on the next episode where we actually go out and build some pieces. Bye-bye.